it's Cat of Spiritual Candy and Freya. Freya's feeling a little needy today, so she's decided to join in. Oh no, she hasn't on the weekly music video. She might come back, who knows? Oh no, she's just gonna lay down here, that's fine. Um, right, okay, here I am with this week's um, musings video. So, this week's topic is something really dear to my heart because it's all about um, feeling good about ourselves, taking care of ourselves, supporting each other in our lives as we go about our daily lives, and I think it's so, so crucial. And this title is, just let me check what it is, oh yeah. <laughs> Bear your wounds and how it will save you. Um, this, I think, is so important. We walk around without realising it. It's not so much that we're full of pride, like, uh, but we're so hard on ourselves, we think that we are kind, often as a sort of light worker or awakened soul type of person, but even if we're not particularly, I think this happens, that we walk around thinking that, other people, we're kind to other people and we're understanding when they make a mistake or when they have a difficulty, but then we're so hard on ourselves and we're almost embarrassed or ashamed or feel anxiety when we have a problem or we make a mistake or something in our lives goes wrong. So what this video is really about, it's saying that by bearing your wounds, by being honest about how you feel, it's actually going to save you. And by save you, I mean it's going to help you to feel better, awaken more, be a, um, a, an even brighter beacon of light for other people, okay? And I'm going to explain why I really think that in a minute, okay? Um, why I say that is, have you ever had that situation where something's happened to you or you're experiencing something and you don't tell anybody, so you're just kind of going about your life and you're thinking about it and then you just get to the end of your tether or you just feel like, you know, you maybe meet up with someone who you're really close to and it just comes like tumbling out and the other person looks at you like, oh my God, that happened to me the other day or I know exactly how you feel and how relieved do you feel and how... Um, Sometimes really surprised you feel because you think, oh, I thought it was just me. Okay, so that's a really crucial thing to, to notice. So basically what I'm saying is it makes you feel better when you bear your wounds. It makes you feel better and you realize that actually every problem you have, every mistake you've made and everything about yourself that makes you feel like unworthy or like there's something wrong with you, Somebody else, in fact, hundreds of other people have felt the same way, you know, or have had the same problem. And when you realize that, it's such a relief. The thing is, I'm not telling you anything you don't know, but that's the whole point with this musing series. It's kind of to remind us. We all know that when we have a problem, that we're not the only one that has it. But at the time, we allow that dysfunctional, egoic part of ourselves to shame us, to make us feel bad about ourselves and it kind of whispers isn't it it's like i call it like the little devil on my shoulder that whispers and kind of we, when we're not really conscious when we're upset and we're sort of in that self-talk in our head we tell ourselves that actually this isn't a problem that everybody has this is just me this you know makes me some sort of freak you know um which clearly isn't true all right so so why um, so it makes us feel, realise actually when we bear our wounds, that it's totally normal, you know, that what we're experiencing is just the same as hundreds if not thousands, if not millions of, well not necessarily millions of people, but you know, thousands of people have felt this millions of times, you see what I mean? So, um, so anyway, the four things that I want to point out with this, why just to sort of um, draw this together and to make it um, a little bit of a cohesive video <laughs> and a coherent video, um, basically that it's so important to, obviously you're not going to go around telling everybody and, and all of your problems and moaning and being really doom-like, that's not um, going to help you. Um, but sharing honestly and authentically who and what you are with people that you trust and people that you know care about you and you care about them is so, so crucial. 
because number one it it brings down inside of you this sense of separation now we are a separate being now i'm going to do a um a video on this at another time about the ego and this sense of separateness clearly i am on some level a separate being you know me and you you know are not one physical thing you know so this concept that we mustn't see ourselves as separate is just bonkers hello i'm separate you know <laughs> On some level, I mean, obviously I get, we all get what we mean by not seeing separateness. But so what I'm, all I'm just trying to say here is that, of course, we have separate bodies. We have certain separate identities. We all have our own unique light. We all have our own unique way of expressing ourselves in the world. But what I'm saying is this sense that of separateness in the isolation it's the sense of separation in terms of being isolated that bearing your wounds to um, the world, not um, being ashamed, not trying to hide who you really are, um, brings down this sense of isolation. It makes you appreciate and realise that you and I are the same, are made of the same stuff. You know, we've experienced a lot of the same things, you know. So, yes, we are different people, but we are at the core the same, made of the same thing. And it just helps us to not feel isolated because I personally believe that feeling really isolated is one of the most horrible feelings that a human being can experience, that sense of not belonging and feeling really isolated. So by bearing your wounds, not only are you bringing down this sense of separation within yourself, which is good for your own mental health and your own sense of happiness and your own sense of worth, because you realise, oh, hang on, you know, this person over here, this person over there has felt the same, but you are actually doing that service for other people. So if you want to help other people, this helps as well because you, somebody else that you're friends with or that you know might not feel courageous enough to say, do you know what, you know, I get really anxious when this happens or that happens. But when you say it, even if they don't say to you, oh, I know exactly how you feel, that's how I feel when this happens, inside they'll be thinking, oh, thank goodness for that, it's not just me, you see what I mean, so you're doing a service as well, the second reason that bearing your wounds is going to save you is because, just because you push it down inside doesn't mean it goes away, so it's actually like keeping your fears and worries and the wounds, the things that are bothering you inside you, all it does, <coughs> excuse me, it just allows them to grow and fester, Okay, so um, it, it doesn't help. And also, just think about it from, if you imagine if you did this with a child, if a child goes to say something and you say, shh, don't tell anybody that, that sense of, oh no, no one wants to hear about that, it gives you a sense that it's wrong. Understand that if you have something that's happened to you or you're experiencing something and you hide it from other people, whether you really think it's wrong or not, you're giving yourself the impression that what you're feeling is wrong. So you are not um, validating your own experiences. So that can make you um, feel uh, sad and it can feel quite confusing as well. So. Um, that's really important as well. It stops it from festering inside you. And the reality is that there's nothing you're feeling now that I haven't felt probably or that somebody else hasn't felt. You know, not every single person will have felt the problem that you're thinking about now that you've had at some point, but lots and lots of people will have. So there's no reason to keep it secret, you know, um, and it will... Um, the damage that it does by bringing it out into the open, which is not anyway, personally, that's what I believe, is so tiny, you know, it might just make someone go, oh, you know, even if it's something quite um, upsetting or whatever, it might sort of surprise somebody or, um, or whatever, but 
it's such a small factor to consider when you think the relative the relative gain that you're going to get by being honest and authentic about you yourself and your life okay so the third thing i've kind of already said this but it connects you to others you know the the bonkers thing about it is that we kind of go about don't we wanting to put on a good face wanting to um not seem perfect but i'm going to over exaggerate here and just say that you know we want to give this sort of like i'm all together image but actually think about that person that you know that really seems to be like nothing bothers me i'm brilliant at everything you know like this is not a person that is easy to connect to this is not a person that you feel you can open up to or endear to so actually the thing that we're striving for actually creates a sense of distance between ourselves and that our person so it's not a good thing you know it what connects us often is when we bring those barriers down and we're really real you know we're really authentic and we say god you know what this just happened to me um or oh you'll never guess what i did or you know and it doesn't have to be negative don't get me wrong i'm not suggesting that everything has to be negative but what i'm saying is that we're almost naturally inclined to share something that's fairly neutral or positive. Um, I do think it depends. I think sometimes we have issues about being positive as well. You know, so we'll find it difficult to um, share what we're good at for fear that we're kind of seeming like we're boasting. But that's for a different video, you know. Um, but uh, yeah, it, it's easy to share um sort of neutral things but actually to be courageous enough to be honest about your whole self the sort of let's say the shadow sides as well is um really important because it connects us to others okay um the fourth thing which i think is so so crucial and i think if you're watching this video you're probably a light worker or some sort of awakened soul that wants to improve their own life and wants to have a really um purposeful life but also wants to help other people and i think that this point is so important for mental health as well as just general happiness in life um that and i took like i said with the other couple of points i've already touched on this at the beginning but it's this concept that um we by by bearing our wounds the fourth point is that it gives a sense of um it stops us from believing that this being totally together is um the right way to be does that make sense i hope it does we want to kind of get rid of this illusion that being strong that being all together that having this like shiny like front of a magazine cover look and attitude is um strength and we need to try and dissolve the concept that having any sort of wounds fears or mental issues is in some is somehow weak or that having strong emotions are weak so that's why it's so important we are light workers we are awakened souls and um, we have we have possibly the capacity and the consciousness some of us to <coughs> excuse me to actually um bear those wounds and help other people to realize that it's okay it's not weakness it's not weakness having anxiety or it's not weakness um making a big mistake or having a really big problem in your life or getting you know getting yourself into a really big difficulty you know it's not weakness it's human you know it's part of what it is to be human and i think that it like um by going out into the world and sharing our wounds with other people not only are we helping ourselves we're helping other people um it dissolves this illusion that everything has to look like a shiny you know you know nothing's wrong everything's great 
um, which is ridiculous because it's impossible. None of our lives are like that. So it's so, so important. Um, it, it's showing you for who you really are. And we want to help ourselves and other people to realize that who we are in total with the half of us that is, has been wounded or is negative is one half of one perfect whole. We don't need to um, be, we, we wouldn't want to be, and we're never going to be a whole that is shiny and perfect and happy and joyful. That's ridiculous. It's just not even possible. So let's break down that illusion and make ourselves happier and healthier, both spiritually, physically and mentally, and let's help other people to feel that way by setting that example and living our lives from this point of view that we are happy to share and show, even if it's just with ourselves to start with, that we are happy to accept and love ourselves as we are, and as we show that to everybody else. Do you know what? I'm happy that sometimes I have... You know, um, I'm happy with myself. I mean, obviously, you're not going to be happy when something goes wrong in your life or if you feel really anxious or whatever. That's bonkers, <laughs> you know. But you can say, I am happy and I love myself, even though these things have happened. And then it helps other people to feel that way. And let's make this something that we bring to the world. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this Musings video. Um, thank you to... Someone did ask me about this, um, basically. Um, and so that's why I thought I'd make a video on it, because I thought it was really interesting. And I... Yeah, I think it's important. Anyway, let me know what you think in the um, comments below. And I'll speak to you next week.